So I am doing a my first live stream in just over a month, um, going everywhere because I've not been around. I have been um, taking a bit of a step back whilst I... Um, hi, Teresa. Whilst I... Um, deal with life to be fair because it's just been absolute madness it's been one thing after the other um but I'm actually quite proud of myself because during this challenging time business has still kept going and things have actually gone really really well um so I what I thought was going to be a low paid month quiet month actually hasn't been and reality is um I've not worked a lot I've worked less than 20 hours in March and I've still earned over a thousand pounds so I'm absolutely buzzing with that so I know to some that's not a lot it's not millions but it just shows what is actually possible and this is what I want to start doing going forward is showing what's possible and modeling for you what I'm doing and how it works hi Amber I love that loads of you are coming on already um between Instagram and Facebook and um yeah so it's good to see you all so hello let me know how you're doing good morning so today i'm going live to talk about the importance of marketing and marketing plan because um i mean i've talked about the importance of it before but the, the real issue is that there are so many business owners that don't put the time into the planning but more time spent planning actually will have results when it comes to the doing to the taking action it really makes a massive difference. So I like to compare it to learning to drive, even though I don't know how to drive, I can't drive, it is a good comparison. So if you, or maybe going on a diet, let's do going on a diet. If you wanna lose weight, you can't just get up and wing it, can you? You've got to decide what you're going to eat, when you're going to exercise, maybe even where you're going to exercise, when you're going to eat. There's so much you need to put into a strategy for actually, actioning the steps that are going to help you to lose weight or to strengthen your muscles or whatever it is that you're doing and it's just the same with a business and this is why so many people start you know trying to lose weight and then come back and, and they retreat and they go back to square one this is why so many people start off in business they have a bit of success and again they retreat and they're back to square one and we get into this feast and famine cycle so in terms of like a diet and losing weight you might do really really well and lose a stone but then you feel really good because you've lost a stone so you get a bit comfortable and then you start piling the weight back on you get into old habits and then the weight starts piling back on and it's the same with business we we decide to do it and usually in the beginning when you launch in the beginning, because it's new, and because your friends and family and everybody around you, so, oh, this is a good idea, they do start to support you in the beginning, and they push you, and you get the sales, you get orders, you get recommendations, so you start with this uphill curve, but then what happens is, you do the same thing, you get comfortable, you start relying on the people you already know, you start relying on your friends and your family, and realistically, those are not the people that you want to be marking, so first of all, they won't be your ideal client, so we get comfortable and the same thing happens. We get comfortable and this uphill curve starts to get flat and it starts to go down. So we come part of this feast and famine cycle. And what we need to do is we need to change our mindset on this and work on our mindset with this because if you don't, you're not going to take the actions and you're not going to get the results. So it's kind of a three-step process. It's being in the right in mindset so that when you set these intentions, you know, you, you have clarity, I guess, and you have confidence in yourself and you have belief. And then you set those intentions, so the goals, what you're going to do. So it might be a product that you're going to launch and sell. You might have a certain sales target. You might want to grow your audience and you might want to. So with, with business, it's not always a financial goal. It might be a growth goal for, you know, in terms of numbers for your email list, your Facebook group, your Instagram, for example. It might be you want to land so many guest experts lots. It might be that you want to um, do so many free sessions to get testimonials if you're starting out. So you start with that initial goal. And then what you want to do is you want to then put the plan together that's the strategy behind that. That is all a marketing plan is. And if we don't do that, if we don't start there, morning Emmy, if we don't start there, then how do you expect to gain results? How do you expect? It's, it's about 
do you know what it's about return on investment is a marketing plan because if you don't invest time time is key if you don't invest time you're not going to get a return on anything so the more time you invest in something the more return you're going to get especially if you're clear on what you're doing so for example if your plan consists of just posting on social media just sorry there's just some under my foot um so i'm just gonna move it out of the way um if your plan consists of just posting on social media and talking about the thing that you're selling let's say it's a sales goal when you then go and action that because there's not enough clarity you're not going to get a return on that investment because that plan took me two seconds to stay right there and then but what you could do is you could spend so much more time going in depth it could be deciding so let's so like we're talking the content on social media about a specific product okay so what can we say about that product who it's for why they need it why it exists why you created it what's the result of that product what problem does it solve so that's already six things that are going to sell that product effectively but then also what do people need to know in order to be able to be ready to purchase your product so it's like for example, if I'm going to sell to you my innovation strategy sessions, I need to make you aware of why you actually need a strategy. Because otherwise, you're not going to be interested in the strategy session if, you, if you're not aware that you need a strategy. So what kind of awareness do you need to create? So these are the types of things that need to go into your marketing plan. And this is why it's so important, because you kind of have to build an audience and then you have to get your audience actually ready for what it is that you're going to be marketing. You have to give them value. You have to get them interested and build up that desire. So this is why it's so important to really spend that time. So that's just one string, right? And, you know, your goal, I've got initial goal here was to post on social media about this product. OK, so we go back back a second. Right. And we're going to be looking at So this. If I was doing this with a client, I'd be like, right, OK what types of content are you going to create there's so many variations there's so much media that you could tap into stories posts instagram carousels um lives um and then you've got them in different places as well um what else have we got reels so much that's just like on one pl platform there's so many platforms you could do blogs emails there is so much you could do youtube videos so much that you can actually tap into in forms of medium for content and content is king i can never stress this enough it's such a massive factor into your marketing plan and actually i'm modeling this right now because i've only just come back i have been back in business so i've not really posted for the past month consistently i've not done anything no lead generation at all i've not done my demo which is a big thing for me because it's something i do consistently i've not done any of that so for full transparency not done any of that I have not done hardly anything because I moved, basically we viewed this, this house that I'm in right now, we viewed it on the 1st of March. We then had seven days to pack up the rest of our house and we got the keys on, I think it was the 8th of March. Yeah, it was, so two days before my daughter's birthday, three days. Um, so we got the keys on the 8th of March. We had the carpets laid two days later and then we moved over the next two days. Two days after that, my husband contracted cellulitis and it was about to go into his blood, which means that basically an infection could have spread around his body. So he was hospitalised, which meant I was on my own with the kids in this new house, still unpacking. And it was just madness. So I didn't work for that two week period. And then he came on. Was it last week? Week before? Um, I have lost, lost track of days now, to be fair. And what happened is. I still wasn't back to work because I felt like I'd been thrown into this. I had to rearrange things because I didn't have him to sit with my daughter so that I could work. I had the house just to unpack and sort. I have nowhere to work. And it was really, really messing with my mind. I'm always honest about how I'm dealing with things. And I have done a YouTube video on this and how I how actually I got the best result out of it and what I've learned from this situation. So go check out my YouTube channel. All you need to do is search Queen of Business Organization and all my free stuff will come up. And basically, I still have been able to earn, I think I'm at 1,200 now and the month's not over yet. And I'm so proud of myself because I've literally worked probably around 16 hours this month. And the majority of those hours have been this week as I've just got back. So I'm just getting back, right? And we are on Thursday, four days in to me being back. By the second day, no, third day, by day three yesterday, 
I had had two inquiries for my one-to-one innovation strategy session. And I'm actually actually blown away by it, but I know why I've got that result. It's because previous to all this craziness happening, I was organized, which is why I am so big on being organized because being organized, putting time into managing your business, your strategy, your marketing plan is so effective because when these curved balls happen, you can go take that time off because your content still goes out. Mine didn't. Some of it did, some of it didn't. Um, I didn't have enough, quite enough time to do it all, but that was my own thing. I could have prioritized it. Um, so yeah, so you know, it's still some of it went out, it was kind of higgledy pickledy, but it was still effective. And so, and so before that, I did that, and I kind of want to just share part of my journey with you for this and just model how it can work. So I'd already planned out this offer for the innovation strategy session, I'd already created this, this short sales page the payment gateways, I'd already created the payment plans, I had already written my social media content um, to sell the offer, I re- literally wrote three posts, hi Ashley, and then I um, I decided and planned out my whole content for March, now that content in March, two weeks of it has not been posted, only two and a half of it's been posted, finishing it off this week, and um, still I got two inquiries for that one-to-one service, which is nearly £300 when the client's book. So it just shows the impact of being prepared, the impact of putting time into working on your content, working on your strategy, and having that clarity around what your marketing is going to be. So this is my message to you that marketing and planning it is so, so important. You've got to put time into it. I would recommend that you have time, and it doesn't have to be a lot, actually. It just has to be regular. I would recommend that you have time every week where you review where you're spending your time each week. Mine's on a Friday. It's the last thing I do on my work week on a Friday, unless I do work on a Saturday, which is rare. But sometimes if I feel inspired, I do I do some work. Um, so on, on a Friday afternoon, before I go to my family, before I go do everything with them because we have a family movie night on a Friday. I finish off with my clients in my membership, usually do a QA, and a unless it's not Q&A week. Um, I will do my plan and planning. I'll sit here with my notebook, my pen, write my goals for the week ahead. I'll put, put anything in my diary that needs to be done and I'll have that ready for Monday morning. <sighs> what else you can do in terms of planning is you can spend the time dedicating to planning content. I actually have content days in my diary now. Every month, there is one day where I will spend, or maybe two, on content, and I do it when I'm in my best energy. So my marketing plan is going to come together with that content. I know what I'm offering, and I know what I'm. I know what I'm selling. I know what I'm saying alongside that sales process. I know what value I'm giving. Um, apart from today, <laughs> today's was meant to be about investment. For some reason, though. When I planned this and shared it the other day, for some reason, marketing was in my head and I put marketing and I could have changed it and gone back to investment. But I've talked about that enough this week. And this is obviously the message that everybody needs to hear today is about the marketing planning. So I thought I'm just going to do this because it's so relevant right now, because a lot of people in business are, are struggling for sales. And you know what? I'm hearing it a lot and it breaks my heart because I know it's tough. I know that we're hitting a recession we're coming out of we've come out of this year has been the first year since we've really broke free from the effects of the pandemic and it's affected us so much i mean we all know we're all aware of of what's going on so i'm not going to recap it because it's not good to stick you know those and implant those negative things but sometimes we have to turn it on our head and just not allow that to be our situation and it's so hard to do it is and you know what me previously i would have panicked i would i would have panicked about the question gas prices the electric prices i would have worried about affording it all but these days i've worked on my money mindset and my strength with my mindset so much that i'm not i'm just trusting myself to sort it out and i'm trusting myself that it will all come together and you know what we've actually been fine you know i'm not saying that we're not struggling because well we're not struggling we have more than enough but right now i've just blown all my savings on this house so i've not got the the um the bank full of money that i did have this time last year so we are in a different position but also part of me says well i had that and i've created this beautiful home 
And because I've done that, I can do it again. So it's about looking into what you have done and what you can do. And these things, just telling yourself, what have I done before? What can I do? Is so, so powerful. I like to use it all the time. What can I do? So anytime that you're feeling lack when it comes to your business or when it comes to market, I've kind of gone off on a tangent here. But anytime you're feeling that lack, just ask yourself, what can I do? And never say that there's nothing you can do because there always is something you can do. There's always something you can change, something you can action, something you can do. So I want you to kind of grab hold of that question today and use it. It was something I started saying in um, one of my challenges that I did last year and it's just stuck and I love it. And people have so much realisations and mindset shifts when I say this. And you can always tell when people are in a um a fixed mindset because those are the ones that are going to be triggered and they're going to be very very resistant hesitant to do anything because they are triggered and i get it because i've been there i have been there and i completely understand so let's track back to marketing plan oh hi jimmy um so just seeing you still all coming dropping in so marketing plan is so so important for those reasons because if you have your plan set in stone and you stick to it to the best of your ability, first of all, it's going to create ease, isn't it? Because if you've got that plan laid out and then you just follow the steps, it's better than not having that roadmap. So I said at the beginning, it's like comparing it to driving. So I've compared it to a diet. I'm going to compare it to driving. You are a new driver. You've never been on the motorway. You've never driven somewhere before. You've never travelled. And you're going to go to the seaside. So... If you just get in the car and start driving, are you going to know where to go? I mean, you can follow the signs, but imagine the signs are not there. Imagine nobody put those stepping stones, those signs in place. Would you have known which direction to go? You wouldn't. And this is why sometimes you need to give yourself that guidance and also externally receive that guidance. And I know it's not easy. So many people are saying right now that they'd love to work with me, but they can't afford it. So I want to tell you, how can you work with me even if you can't afford it? And I'm not saying that means handing me your money over. Someone said this week about putting money on a credit card and I said, don't do that. I, I will not, I would refund the money, in fact. If someone invested using a credit card with me, I would refund, if I knew about it, I'd refund the money. I wouldn't let them do that. So I said, don't. But how can you? So it could be, you go onto my YouTube, you go onto my Facebook, you go onto my Instagram, you join my email lists, download all my freebies, and you consume all of that free stuff. Because I can tell you right now, there's so many people that have never paid me a penny that are in my audience that have got results from doing what I've talked about on these free videos, on these lives, on these freebies that I've done. And some of them are so valuable as well. And they've got results and they've shared them. So you never know what can happen just from the free stuff. And I do say that when you consume the free stuff, there is a point where, you know, you can't get any further. And that's because you're not accessing the kind of support that you would get from having that person looking in your business with you. But you still are going to get a lot. It's still going to make an impact. So that would be my first thing to do. If you are one of these people that like want to work with me or another business coach or whoever it is, what investment you want to make, what can you do for free, first of all? My second tip on that is to... I got to the point with your content, Danny. Yeah. You, Emmy, binges everything I do. She, I mean, she's here again. She's a client, though. She is a client. She's in my membership. But she binges everything I do. She consumes it. And you know what? She actions it as well. I love seeing when she does the plans and stuff. It's amazing. Um, so the first thing is, you know, all the free stuff. Take the free stuff. It's there. Because this is part of my mission. It's not about just charging. I want to help people. And if I can keep putting free content out there, it's going to help people. Second of all, what can you do? So how can you make that? If it really is that you feel that you need to invest. Morning, Mel. What can you do? How can you make that happen so for me i take payment plans on pretty much everything <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a payment plan um because it's better for me to spread the cost of something than initially lose you're not losing money but initially investing money in one big hit you know if it's thousands if it's hundreds um so i do that so that's one way is payment plans sometimes the payment plans you just can't meet them or they're a little bit more expensive than the actual full cost of paying in full which actually up until now, I hated that until I listened to Lisa Johnson's podcast and she made a really good point about the fact of how much 
admin is actually involved in creating employment plans. So unfortunately, I've had to do that. I, my payment plans now are going to be a little bit more than they would be for a painful option, just because if someone defaults on a payment, how much work are you going to have to put in to make sure that you you know follow that up and all and, and basically all the stuff that you need to do it takes time it takes work so you need to be paid for that time and work so that aside um i take payment plans but also they're not they're not possible sometimes so my third thing is save but even if it's not for business it could be investing in a new pair of shoes it could be investing in um clothes it could be investing in a work desk it could be a new book something that you're wanting right now in your life or business because a lot of these business tips you can apply to life as well and when you realize this it's quite sorry i've got a really itchy eye when you realize this it's quite powerful and effective so how can you make it happen how can you save up to get the thing you want i've had clients that have saved for um special printers that are really expensive um because they really wanted it and it will take their business to the next level I was going to do it in my first business. I wanted an embroidery machine, but they are um, really expensive. It was a thousand pounds, so I was I started saving for one. I was actually quite fortunate that my grandparents um, I had inheritance, so they decided that before they went, they wanted to give us the money. So they gave me a thousand pound check, and that actually paid for my embroidery machine. That was about six years ago now, and it was just amazing because it was such good timing. Um, yeah. Mel, that's brilliant. A Christmas fund, ten pound a week saving plan. I usually I do this every year. I've not started saving for Christmas yet, so I'm quite behind this year. But I am about to from next month because it just makes it easier. Because I've got such a big family, it costs me over a thousand pounds for Christmas. No way can I do that last minute. So I save every month. I love that. Um, Emmy's done a spa day every quarter throughout the year, which means she saves for that because it's a treat that she wants. You've got to put it in your big budget. You've got to create a plan for it. Got to have a strategy for it. So it's more than just marketing, isn't it? It's life as well. When you want something in your business, create a strategy for it. Create a plan. When you want something in your life, create a plan. It's as simple as that. So if you action anything today and you don't have a plan, I want it to be that you start doing a plan. Even, even put it in the com in the in the comments or in the group. Feel free to post and share with us your plan and share with us what you've done. I'd love to see. Um, this is my first year saving for Christmas. Well done on starting. Mel's first time as well. Usually sort of last minute. Yeah, I think maybe I've um, got people a bit organised. Then I've actually wrote an amazing cl class. It's called. Um, Reduce overwhelm and get organised, and it's amazing. I'd, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I, it's so good. I need to sell it. Um, so I don't. I might just put it on Etsy or something. I love how practical that you are. Really helpful and positive. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm not always positive though. I wish. <laughs> we can't all be positive all the time, can we? But I am very practical though because it's real life, isn't it? It's it's real life. We all have the same things we need to deal with with you know paying our bills but also giving getting ourselves those luxuries and treats and things we want and just because we're in a financial crisis in the world right now doesn't mean that we shouldn't have stuff that we want and that we that are nice and that are luxurious i mean i've just invested loads of money in this bed oh it's so nice um so so nice and i've never spent this amount of money on a piece of furniture ever but i'm so glad i did it's i tell you what i know it's the difference I really do. And it just, it makes a difference. And I wouldn't have done that had I not saved all that money up until last year. Well, up until this year when I spent it on this bed, ready for moving house. Yeah, it's always about those positive steps because the, the difference is if you, if you have a goal, I'm going to talk business because we're here for business. But if you have a goal and you sit in the, this is what I want, but I can't do it. You're not gonna you're not gonna move forward. But instead, if you sit in the okay, this is what I want, but I can't do it right now, how can I make that happen? Then you're already the, for me, the cogs start turning and ideas start to come in to to, st to start formulating a plan to make it happen. No worries, Jenny. We're nearly rounding it up now anyway, um, because I've got an interview shortly, um, all about money mindset actually. So, yeah, let me know if you do a plan after this and share it with us. I can't see who it is, but someone said they're sitting in overwhelm. 
pop me a message or put a comment in and let's have a let's see if we can help um so if you don't have your marketing strategy in place i have the perfect solution so this is an ideal solution for you if you've not got that strategy maybe you're struggling with your time management maybe you want more support with how to effectively use your social media i've created an innovation strategy um one-to-one session and this is 90 minutes with me working it on your business we look at your strategy we we, basically the idea is you come away from that 90 minute session with a foolproof strategy steps that you can go away and implement so this is what i'm working on at the moment and basically we go through what you how you're going to use social media email marketing how you're going to use your time a foolproof plan we'll look at your content we'll look at your messaging, your types of content. So types as in the mediums, but also the themes and the content pillars that you have. We will look at specifically working on the marketing plan so that you can go away with that plan and action it. But I know that once you start actioning a plan, mindset issues come up. My monkeys are at play. Imposter syndrome might throw you off and you might self-sabotage. I also know that you might hit roadblocks and something may happen. So as you so you know you've done your session with me, you're feeling good, you've got that energy, you're buzzing, you go and start actioning it, but you might have curveballs that come your way or you might not get the results that you initially expected. So the worst thing to do is for you to take the session and then have yourself sat in its situation. So I wanted to create an opportunity for you to continue to be supported even after the session. So I decided to create a 14 day follow up support. And this means that you're just like any other one to one client who so one to one clients of mine have access to me between calls all the time. They just put me a message. Obviously, I'm not available all the time. But guaranteed Monday to Friday, I'll get back to you within an hour or two at least. So um that's how it works so with the innovation strategy call you actually have me on hand for 14 days after the call to support you with questions you can send me say you did a sales page you could send me over for review content for review i could audit edit feedback stuff like that for you and having that one-to-one support while you actually go into initiating the marketing plan so that's the innovation strategy session i love the name of it i just love it um and they are worth 300 pounds but i know that people just need this help and support right now so i've decided to offer them for four no not for four um for 147 147 pounds but again um i wanted to be like okay how can i value my time but still support people in these struggling times and it's always been a thing for me for accessibility and affordability so i actually decided to put a payment plan in place so that you can spread the cost of this strategy session so there actually is payment plan options for this that make it a lot more affordable so have a look at that the link should be in the comments if you're on facebook if you're watching on instagram head to the link in my bio you can find it on my website queenofbusinessorganisation.co.uk go to the work with me section and it will be there ready for you to have a look at um, the business innovation is the innovation strategy session um so emmy says i've just put your portal back onto my desktop top then there is no excuse now it's on all in right in front of me thank you danny needed this live this morning oh you're so welcome i'm so glad it's helped um so i've actually been longer than i planned but hey ho i'll just get started and that's it isn't it um so i will leave you with that happy thursday go and do your marketing plan go on go take action i know you've got this i know you can make it happen i'll leave you with that and i'll see you all later Thank you.